What is up, everybody? So, anyway, um, today's going to be pretty pretty short. Um, I say pretty short. It's probably going to be normal 10-minute crap. Um, so, I got in this discussion on, on a Facebook group about... Um, the difference between KM parts, Losi parts, and uh, everything, you know, in between when it came to compatibility of the Losi parts KM chassis, which, if anybody has followed this this particular build, um, Max here. Uh, you know that that this started out as a um, King Motor X2, which you know it's it's probably more non Losi. It's kind of a hybrid between Losi King Motor, you know, um, anything like that. So that being said, there was a discussion about. Which parts fit what, and what compatibilities were ever talked about, or you know, yada yada yada. So I made a comment about how um, the pinion gears for the diff, which this being a diff pinion, here this is a diff pinion. This is a King Motor. It's not. It's not Losi. All right. So. The reason why it's still got the bearing on there is A for one, bearings are pressed on. So if this bearing goes bad, you're pretty much screwed. You have to, well, you can heat the pinion gear up and and expand the metal and then and, and, and try and pull that, that bearing off. This is a really a non-issue for me. I mean... Because my my deal was I is I need I, I need parts that I can service right any any anybody that races or anything like that you want parts that you can service quickly you don't want to have to worry about replacing a damn pinion gear um, because you need to change a bearing that, that's that's not wise um, now if you have to replace the the bearings inside your, your clutch housing. That's a different story. Those things are pressed in. Um, so, you know, from the factory, you know, it's, it's got bearings that are pressed in there that you have to heat that housing up to, to change those out. That's a little bit different story. However, that being said, um, there was this huge discussion on which parts um, worked and which parts didn't. So, um, and honestly, Paul, if you watch this, please don't take any offense to this because this isn't directed at you or nothing like that. Uh, I'm just simply trying to state my case a little bit better so that people kind of understand if they see this, see the Facebook post on, on the, the KM, um, X2 or KM Baja, you know, um, Facebook group, they kind of understand what, what I was talking about. Uh, I purchased a Team Fast Eddie uh, set of bearings for the low C5. All right, this is before that was before I pulled this pulled this shaft out. Oops, pulled the shaft out or this pinion shaft and. Uh, check to see if the bearings would fit. Now mind you, every bearing on on the vehicle except the pinion bearings fit perfectly. I had not one bit of trouble. Um, the, 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 the specs were identical on every other component on the KM chassis um, other than the Uh, they were they were the same. They they fit perfectly except for the bearings that went on the uh, on the diff pinions. This now for those that aren't sure where this part goes, this is the pinion gear <clears throat> that interfaces with the rear diff. 
okay you can kind of see it back in there right 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 through there it's covered up with a, a rubber boot kind of back in the back um, but that pinion gear interfaces with the diff um, the ring gear on on the, the differential and ultimately this is hooked to your drive line this spins turns your differential and your car goes forward that's what this does this is the pinion gear all right these pinion gears if you do a little research on YouTube let's get this in focus again um, if they're a low C part the bearings just slide on and off right that's what they should do King Motor parts however do not bearings pressed on which makes changing these bearings out a complete pain in the ass they didn't want to have to do that so I opted to go with low C parts I mean, it's a shot in the dark. You don't know whether or not the bearings that came from Fast Eddie are, are specced properly. I would hope that they were. But the bearings just for the, for the pinion shaft, the diff pinions, just would not fit over the, the shaft here. So I ordered the Losi parts. And you want to know what? The bearings slid right over the shaft. I could remove the bearings with ease. No pressing, no heating, no nothing. I could service the bearings. And that's what you want. You don't want to have to replace the pinion shaft every time you replace the bearings. You don't want to have to do a lot of extra work. Why? I'm lazy. That, and I don't want to have to spend a whole lot of money. If I screw up the bearings, that's one thing. If it's an old bearing, that's one thing. But I don't want to script another shaft, okay? I mean, these parts for a fifth scale are kind of pricey. You know, I mean, you get into a fifth scale, I'm not complaining about the cost of the pinion gear, because, you know, it is what it is. But, for those people that want to have to service bearings, because those are, those are considered serviceable parts, uh, you don't want to have to go through a whole lot of extra effort to, to service them. Um... Somebody on that post, I'm not exactly sure if he was from King Motor or Roven or whoever, which I appreciate that person coming on and and making some comments to to everything, uh, stated they fixed the problem. The tolerances are a little bit different. The diameters are probably a little bit smaller, um, which which makes this now a serviceable piece in that one that's probably compatible with most aftermarket uh, bearings and now one thing else too one additional thing low C bearings would not have fit this okay low C bearings fit a low C part that means the shaft inner inner diameter of the bearing was actually smaller than this okay means the diameter of the shaft is a little bit smaller than this one if you put a mic on it I guarantee you this is smaller, or this, this shaft is larger than, than the low C shaft. Not by much, but it doesn't take much to make a huge difference. So, anyway, I thought I'd explain that a little bit. Um, if you're going to, in my experience, is if you're going to replace things on a King Motor, consider the low, going back with low C parts. Um, there are a few other things on on here I might post in a second video uh, that that uh, didn't fit as well uh, when it came to adding aftermarket you know components to it you know things that I wanted you know I don't want to have to go back with a, a factory component if I don't have to I want something that's a little stronger um, so anyway I think I'll post that in a second video here in a second and uh, we'll catch you then Alright, uh, part two coming up.